guys, my name is Shana aka Honey Sense here on YouTube. Today we are doing a review. I sent out a poll on Twitter asking what you guys would like to see more of on my channel. So if you don't follow me on Twitter, my link will be in the description so you like don't miss out on these polls if you like have something you really want to see that or leave it in the comments below if you have any like requests or any type of video you'd like to see more of. But I think it was like joint first was reviews, so as you would have seen I did have a fairly, a, pr a pretty good haul from Booth. So today I'm going to be reviewing the NYX Hydra Touch Primer. Um, I have kept the packaging, just see if there's anything on here that just, it's not on here. Um, so this says on the back, enhance your complexion with Hydra Touch Primer. Our primer is infused with chamomile, green tea, ginseng, ginseng root extract to create the perfect the perfect canvas and give your skin a radiant boost and that says pretty much the same on here so i don't need this okay so this is this 30 grams of product or 1.5 ounces I th i'm guessing that's fluid ounces it doesn't say fluid ounces um so i would say it's a pretty good size for the price i believe it's 13 pounds or eleven pounds, either eleven pounds or thirteen pounds. I should know this, but again, I'm just never prepared. Um, so yeah, I've already moisturised. So let's just pop it on. So I'm going to take not much for the moment. It wouldn't. Uh, it doesn't have a smell. So well, it has a very slight smell, but I can't tell if that's like my hand soap or. No, I think it's, it's got like a very slight smell to it, but not a whole lot. So I'm just going to dot this around my face and then it feels really light when I'm first putting this on. I maybe could do with having a little bit more. It feels like really refreshing as well, actually. Like it feels like it's hydrating my skin and my skin's like really dry at the moment i'm gonna put a tiny bit more on because i didn't get as much on this cheek and a bit more on my chin but yeah this feels really nice um like i said refreshing it has that like cooling sensation when it first goes on um it doesn't feel sticky I got my hands. You know how some primers can make opening products then really difficult? That wouldn't happen. Like my hands, they have, they're smooth. They're not like slick like when you use a silicone primer, but they're not like sticky, but they've got like, I don't know. I would just be able to open things still. Okay, so I'm going to let this sit on my face for a couple of minutes, see how it feels when it's kind of dried down, um, then see how foundation's going to go on top of it. I think I'm going to use um, my NYX Total Control. I usually like, I, I prefer to test out a primer with um, the same brand um, foundation at first, just because generally you expect the primer to work with their own brand. So yes and then i'm gonna check back in with you later to let you know how well my foundations lasted on my skin i'm not going to change anything else about my routine i'm gonna use the same powder same setting spray and just let you know how everything goes okay so i think it's had enough time to kind of set and my face feels really nice and smooth i have a lot of texture on my nose because i have really big pores and my nose just feels really smooth um i also have a lot of texture under my eyes as well just because it's generally dry there um and again it feels really smooth same on my chin i still have my little bumps here but that's just like under the skin spots and scarring but like my cheeks and my forehead everything feels really nice soft hydrated smooth so so far i'm really enjoying this primer so i'm gonna pop um, I'm going in the mirror actually. So I'm just going to pop some of this on my skin and we'll see how well it goes on. This is actually going on really well. It's 
I mean, I like this foundation anyway. This foundation is good for if you have dry skin. Um, but it's not clingy anywhere. It's settling. Like, you know, it, it's, it's settling where it needs to be settling. Um, and it's not needing to be like moved around loads if that makes sense like no that's not what i mean i mean it's easy to move around <laughs> but that again might just be the property of the foundation might have nothing to do with the primer um i'm just putting like a thin-ish um coat of foundation on because i'm not going anywhere really today aside from taking alfie for a walk so I don't need a whole lot on but so far so good I have noticed I don't I mean this is, might not come up on camera but my forehead is looking a tad dry around here and it's clinging a little bit but again that would be foundation but I mean aside that my cheeks I mean it just looks like my skin like it's gone on really nicely um so so far so good foundation went on really well um okay it might be the foundation that's why it's clinging to dry spots but i expect it because this is a hydro touch that it'll be a little bit more moisturizing but it would be worse if i used a different primer so because of how dry my skin is this past couple of days so I'm at because of how dry my skin has been it's drier than normal um I will give it a bit of a pass on that okay so I've done the rest of my makeup now and I have to say I really like how everything has gone on my like aside from like I said a bit of dryness on my forehead the rest of my makeup looks really nice um and even then like it's not bad, you can't see it, it's just if I look up close to a mirror I can see where the dryness is. Even the creasing under my eyes isn't bad. That's really rare. It's really rare for me to not have bad creasing under my eyes no matter what I use. I even once tried to use my Urban Decay Primer Potion underneath my concealer and it still didn't work. So, even for that, I am loving this primer but we'll see how it stands for the rest of the day okay so it's about 10 hours later uh, more like nine and a half um i put that makeup on like all this makeup on at half 10 and it's like eight o'clock now um so yeah i'm just gonna go in with ooh, my mirror technically i mean it's a highlight but yeah and just have a look at what's going on. Bear in mind, it's been about 10 hours, not 10 hours, wait, yeah, 10 hours. And I've had a nap for like an hour and a half. <laughs> so, okay, well, I'll tell you the first thing I noticed um, a couple of hours ago. While I did say there's a little bit of dryness on my forehead, it's kind of, it's gone away now for one, like, just it looks normal but I've mentioned in previous videos I have expression lines I'm gonna kind of come close like there and they are just like I did that to show you now they are just there on my forehead all the time but like bish where are they where are they all oh, right they don't exist anymore this is magical like there's some creasing under my eyes but not bad all like if I no there's like basically no creasing and like my chin it's like still perfect my cheeks always stay perfect I haven't got much texture on my cheeks they're pretty good um and I slept on this side as well and I mean it's worn a bit there but I'm wearing a fluffy jumper and I slept on the jumper so Honestly, this might be the best primer I've ever used and it's what, 11 
pounds or 13 pounds I can't remember I think it's 11 pounds okay so I'm gonna end this video here if you enjoyed hit the like button if you like me hit the subscribe button if you really like me hit the notification button next to the subscribe button as well so you know you get notification when I upload so yeah I have some more things to review so stay tuned for more reviews um, in the nearby future and yeah I hope you enjoyed the video I'll see you next time Bye!